question number one give two examples of electronic sources of information on history of kenya we have number one films number two micro films number three radio number three audio visual and number five data banks and data bases Question number two, state two ways in which the traditional African communities in Kenya passed information from one generation to another. In other words, they are asking you to write examples of oral tradition. That, that is one of the, the source of history and government. So here they have framed the question in another way and uh, the question is the same but the framing is different so they are telling you to state ways in which traditional african communities in kenya were passing information number one legends number two poems number three proverbs number number next tongue twisters next mate next songs next riddles uh, next and the last one folk tales you can also call them narratives narratives if there is any other example we have not mentioned you can mention it in the comment section number three identify two ways in which african communities interacted in pre-colonial kenya migration that is one of the way of interaction the way they interacted one way is migration number two is trade number three is warfare when they were fighting and number three is raiding activities then the last one sports and games this question is very common you might find it in your exam identify two ways in which african communities interacted in pre-colonial kenya migration trade warfare raiding sports and games if we have left any other point you can uh, write on the comment section uh, remember we said we, we would like all of us to participate question number four name the supreme council of council of elders among the ameru community the supreme council of elders among ameru was during cheke question number five name one early christian missionary who worked in kenya number one we have dr lord wing craft we have jacob we have thomas we have the last one john Rebman. Uh, question number six state one reason why government may limit freedom of speech state one reason why the government may limit freedom of speech number one war propaganda Number two, hate speech. Number three, incitement to violence. Then we have the last one, deformation. Deformation. If we have left any point or any answer, uh, you can write in the comment section. Remember we said we want everyone to participate so that uh, this one can be lively eh? and remember when you write an answer uh, that answer you will never yeah! welcome back our listener uh, to the other part of the video I remember we are answering questions history paper one uh, the next question name the natural method of becoming Kenyan citizen natural method of becoming Kenyan citizen that one is obvious that one is by birth next 
in which way does the constitution protect the wealth of individuals in Kenya? In which way does the constitution protect the wealth of individuals in Kenya? And uh, the answer is it guarantees the right to own property. Number nine, apart from Nandi, name two other African communities that resisted the establishment of colonial rule in Kenya. We have these other communities that resisted the, the establishment of colonial rule. We have Bukusu, we have Somali, we have Agriyama. Agriyama is part of the is part of the the coast of Bantu, the Minjikenda. Eh? Is the subtribes of Minjikenda is the tribes of a subtribe of uh, Kosto Bantu. Eh? This question is very common. You might find it in your exam. Then question number nine from we have we have answered that question that was the question number nine which was asking uh, other community that resistant and the establishment of the rule the colonial rule in kenya uh, if there is any other community that resisted in kenya you can write it in the comment section and uh, people who are watching this video will see that and they will also comment uh, we have question number 10 highlight one way in which colonial land policies promoted settler farming in kenya highlight one way in which colonial land policies promoted settler farming in kenya number one setting aside land for settlers in highland remember the colonial the colonial government set aside land for settlers so that it could encourage them to come to do farming in kenya number two creating african reserves to give room for settlers to take land remember when uh, they came here in kenya uh, african were were taken to reserves eh? They were taken to the to the reserves so that uh, the colonial uh, settlers, eh, white settlers, uh, could practice farming, and that is one of the way of encouraging, or one of the way uh, to promote settler farming in Kenya. We have the question number eleven. Name two African nationalists national national nationalistic name two african nationalist political parties that attended lancaster house conferences nationalists name two african nationalist political parties that attended Lancaster House conferences. We have number one, Kenya African Union. That is one of the political party that attended Lancaster House. Uh, then we have this other one, Kenya African Democratic Union. Then we have the last one, African People's Party. Those are the political parties that attended Lancaster House. We have the question number 12. Give the main reason why Daniel Arab Moy banned ethnic organizations in 1979. This was to promote units. 